So today I want to touch on uh, a chemical called bisphenol A, BPA. It's actually a chemical that is an endocrine disruptor. Uh, and what does that mean? It means a chemical that mimics estrogen in the body and it has accumulative effects. It builds up over time. It's in plastic cans, it's in uh, bottled water, it's in baby bottles. It's all over the place. It's crazy. I'm just kidding. This was supposed to be a blooper. Okay. And this is BPA free, by the way. Here's, here's the thing. It has a cumulative effect. And um, I think our bodies can deal with a small amount, but let's say for example, uh, you're going you're gonna to get pregnant, okay? Or you're, you're just had a baby and you're breastfeeding. You don't want to be using these plastic containers that you're, you stick in the microwave and just pushing all this plastic out. Use more glass, porcelain, stainless steel when you cook. And, and it's going to be really hard to eliminate this completely, but you just want to minimize the exposure to it as much as possible. The other thing you can do to help the situation is consume cruciferous vegetables on a regular basis. Um, cruciferous vegetables have unique properties of dealing with endocrine disruptors. They help to dismantle and remove some of these endocrine disruptors from the body. So that would be something you can be proactive about. Now, also, this chemical can increase androgens, uh, as in polycystic ovarian syndrome as well. So if you have PCOS, you want to minimize the exposure uh, to plastics, especially. There's also uh, an enzyme called aromatase, which will convert testosterone into estrogen. So it makes more estrogen. And this chemical can stimulate this enzyme. So if you have more estrogen dominant symptoms, this could be the reason why. And this also creates the effect in men as you know, breast tissue, low sperm counts, low testosterone, that type of thing. So the important point about this is that infants and children are more vulnerable so some of the important takeaway from this is that this chemical is accumulative in the body. So instead of buying a lot of water and plastic, you know, get a filter in your house. Uh, instead of buying cans of water, you can get one of those machines and make your own carbonated water that's flavored. There are things that you can do. Uh, use glass, porcelain, and stainless steel. And also start consuming more cruciferous. But if you have an infant in the house, or you have small children, or you are pregnant, or your wife is pregnant, I would highly recommend um, being very cautious about the exposure of plastic and cans and baby bottles and sippy cups and that type of thing. All right, thanks for watching. Hey guys, real quick, I have a new healthy keto eating plan for you. Just go to drberg.com. It's right on the front page. I put a link down below. Download it, it's free. Check it out.